Hi guys and girls, welcome back to another episode of Does What It Says with me, John D. And on this episode, I'm going to be looking at two RC cars that I've required. We've got the MJX 14301 Mini Infraction and the MJX 14209, which is like a little Jeep, to be honest, a little off-road Jeep. Now I saw these and my first kind of, uh, my first thoughts on these were one i wanted them so i bought them so i was like we're here get those in took took about a week to turn up i got it from radiocontrol.co.uk not affiliated with them at all that's just where i got them from um they i think they've got these in stock now if any guy any of you wanted them and um to be honest for the price i mean 130 pound for this it's a steal to be honest the, the quality to what you've got here for the price that you're paying i mean where can you find that elsewhere but what i want to talk about is why i got both of these now i i first see this one which is the uh the mini infraction and i just thought it looked so cool with the red bits on the wheels and and just seeing all the videos and more getting bashed around and how strong they are and oh they just it just looked great so i thought to myself yeah i love one of those bad boys and then I saw the Jeep and I was like, oh man, I want one of those as well. And then I kind of thought, they look the same. They look, obviously, apart from obviously being a bit wider and longer dog bones and bits and pieces, they looked very similar. So let's let's have a closer look and let's let's see exactly how similar these two cars are. So we're gonna start off and we're gonna be, we're gonna go into what you get in the box. So obviously you get the car, you get a little 5 amp USB charger, you get a lithium ion 2000 megram hour battery, you get a basic toolkit and you get two sets of tyres which is good. You've got a set of hard plastic slicks and you've got an extra set of off-road rally tyres. Rally seem to be of a slightly harder compound, different grip on them. Obviously along with a controller, you don't get batteries with a controller but you get everything else. So you just need two AA batteries and you're good to go. That little red washer that's on the wheels, little washer, spacer, that actually comes off the wheels. So you can take that off and you can stick it onto whatever choice of tyres, wheels that you want to uh, put back on the car. So obviously I'll put a slick on the front and you can see what it looks like there. But if you want to take the red little spacer off, you don't have to have it. And it gives it a little bit of a mean look, which is uh, I think looks pretty cool, to be honest. Um, yeah, that's what I've done. I've taken them off of my one anyway. So um, it just looks it looks cool man it looks dark black and mean you know almost evil now uh, anyway inside the body take the body work it's very good quality inside it's quite uh, it's quite a thick legs and body to be honest which is good it's got lights at the front it's got lights at the rear and it's got lights in the roof it's also got indicators which is not too bad to be honest with you and you can turn them off also it's got these red and blue police siren type lights not sirens but you know what i mean i personally think they look pretty good as you can see when you turn right and you turn left the, the lights flash but you can he's got an optional mode where everything just flashes like this you get the front lights flash the, the roof lights flash rear lights flash as well at the same time um yeah the indicators don't work so when you turn left and right in this mode the indicators don't work which is good but then all your lights are flashing or you can just turn them off completely just like that when you turn left and right as you can see no indicators now just check this out just look at that it's like rc off-road perfection i just love it look the color is just it's just bold sticks out it's right in your face it's mean you can tell it means business just by looking at it i mean every angle that you look at this thing look, oh, speechless just check it out man it just it's just such a bad boy little car um even oh, sideways on look let's just look at it it's just, i just can't what can i say to be honest it just looks the nuts and the suspension the shocks on this thing are they're extremely good for i mean for what you're paying i mean again it's 130 140 pound depends where you get it from it's just can't you just can't beat it mate to be honest with you for that price i mean you might be able to but i haven't seen anything that's beat it yet again like i'm saying it's for the price it's it's not a professional off-roader at all by any chance it's kind of like beginner intermediate-ish kind of level but uh let's move on and let's have a look at what you get in the box 
so obviously you get the car you get a little toolkit the same as the other one uh, you get a 3000 megram power lipo battery which is a two cell you get a charger a five amp usb charger for it you get some extra slightly stiffer springs so the chrome ones are actually slightly stiffer which i'll show you in a while you get spare suspension arms upper and lower one for each side of the car and also a lovely larger set of tires and wheels and on the back of the body you've got a rear wheel mounted on top which so when you take that off you can actually use this on the car and also one of the larger tires fits perfectly onto it and um, screw that on so if you've got the, the larger set on you can have one of them well if you get a spare one of those um, and just so you can see well, that is the car installed with all the large tires on it the bigger wheels and tires which like, I keep on saying it, but it just looks better and better every time you do something to this thing. It's just, it's awesome. It's, it's even got the lights worked out absolutely perfect. you got just front lights and roof lights, and they are spot on, as you can see. And also, no indicators. Turn these wheels left and right, no indicators. Button on the control, all it does is turns the lights on or off, which is exactly what you want. Now the shocks in these things are very good they do a very good job at dampening um, and so this little tiny slow-mo drop test is going to show you so first of all i've got the original black springs on and when i do drop this you can see that the back wheel stays pretty planted it does lift up a little bit but then um, i mean fronts are spot on but the back one does lift a little bit and when i do the second drop you'll see that the back wheel lifts up and that's with one of the chrome uh, spare springs that comes with the car so that's just on the back wheels front ones are standard stock black ones what it comes with when you first buy it and as you can see the rear wheels lift back up the floor about 10 mil which can be easily sorted out with some thicker damper oil you haven't got to go as far as, as doing all this because they do run perfectly out the box um, but I would and I think I probably will. I'd get some, I'd put the silver springs on and I'd just change the oil over to a little bit thicker oil just to keep the back from lifting off the floor and to get a little bit more power down. Now, moving on to the internals. And first of all, we're going to start with the 301 and the front bumper and with a massively huge, nice big wedge of foam for any kind of front end impact. The rear's got a little stabilizer at the back, a little uh, shock absorbent bumper, which is good. And the 209, when you have a look at that, you've got a nice little front bumper with a little shock absorber on the back and the rear hardly anything to be honest it doesn't really do anything there you've just got the body mounts now the 209 as you can see it comes with a waterproof receiver cover you've got two fans you've got one on the electric speed controller one on the motor and it's a Deans connector now on the 301 you can see two fans one on the speed controller one on the motor but you've also got a receiver which is not in a waterproof case but you've got the extra gyro on this one which obviously keeps it going in a straight line and assists with drifting and power sliding and and whatnot so now we're starting to see some differences in these two cars so i think we're going to do we'll have a look we'll have a look first at the 14209 and the battery compartment so where you're restricted where the servo is placed on this one for what back what batteries you can actually use and when you look at the 14 301 it's it's quite open you got a bit more of a choice on what batteries you can use because of the positions of where the servos are mounted as you as you can see in the pictures now a side by side comparison you can see the uh, the 301 comes with a little dust cover to keep it all a little bit cleaner and tidier um the 209 doesn't unfortunately because you've got the waterproof cover over the receiver and you just can't get one on there to be honest with you and from this view you can see the shape of the uh, the metal chassis as well it's the it's completely different on both cars and when you look at the underside you can also see this a lot more prominent and you can see the positions of the screws which are posi screws which is a bit of a pain in the butt but what do you expect i mean they're not like i said earlier in the video they're not professional grade they are kind of starter to intermediate rc hobbyist cars um 
But then again, they are really good. As you can see, they are quite good quality for the amount of money that you are paying for them. And did I mention that they look absolutely awesome? And can I say it again? Yes, I can. Do these cars do what they say they do? Yes, they definitely do. They look good. They're built for speed. They're extremely strong and very good for money. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. And uh, I shall see you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.